is you know, under the Bollinger Band base one. But as you can see here, Plyce move is gradually hitting kind of middle Plyce line with the Bollinger Band. Key news updates. Blade Browser updated user stats. Monthly active user, 34.4 million. Daily active user, 11.9 million. Amazing continuous growth. It's pretty good. And once we're gonna move to chart analysis, BAT USDT, daily chart, still 0.4 dollar is a key support line here. But as you can see here, gradually on a Bollinger Band basis, converging trend will end and experiences upper price breakout. Then now, price hitting higher than EMA 200, so the next key challenge, whether they can maintain EMA 200 or not. Then during the moment, they're going to wait in this timing, then other like EMA stats, such as EMA 75, 10, 26, all you know, hit it to the nose, higher than EMA 200, next long-term brew run will be restarted again on a BAT price move too, okay? Related market updates, decentralized CDN. So, P2P CDN no development updates. Seattle minus 0.4%, Helium plus 9.2%, Ethereum minus 1.2%, Sealcoin plus 0.2%, Blade plus 1.7% since July 18th last time I started updates, and a debt Filecoin no updates. While Helium Network still keeping pretty you know, steady stats goals here, it's pretty amazing work, these days, you know, Seattle Network stats growth is kind of very steady moment. It's pretty good. Next one, Origin Protocol, OZN. So, key news updates. Their key rival, OpenSea, becomes an NFT marketplace leader with 19% market share. But, you know, OpenSea is a centralized player on the NFT marketplace. And OZN also started the NFT marketplace in a decentralized model. So, all the time, these kind of, you know, great rival growth all the time help boost the OZN business, so it's pretty good, okay? Then, technical analysis, OZN USDT daily chart. So, still continuously pay attention to the Bollinger Band EMA 200. Once we're gonna compare the BAT token price move, still, OZN price is you know, under the Bollinger Band base one. But as you can see here, price move is gradually hitting higher than middle price line of the Bollinger Band. Upper price breakout of the origin protocol price is also coming to close. So the next key challenge, whether they can hit higher than EMA 200 and then they can maintain, you know, these, you know, bridge momentum higher than EMA 200 plus, okay? Also, once we're going to pay attention to RSI stats, still between the middle ones here means market is not too hot, okay? So you're going to start to believe the future of the OZN and then you will start to think about the investment in the OZN token. This timing is kind of good timing. Additional investment or new investment, okay? All right, next one, audio. All right, key news updates. Decentralized music streaming platform, Audius, reaches five million users. It's pretty good work. Still, those streaming market is not quite hot enough yet, but you know, once we're gonna look at you know, rival market such as Spotify, it's a huge market opportunity here. So it's pretty great, amazing progress, okay? Then technical analysis, audio USDT, daily chart. Almost similar price move to OGN, but a little stronger in the British trend here. The price itself is already higher hitting the EMA 200, it's pretty good. Then at the same time, once we look at the RSI, stats still inside the band price range here. So the gradually price move itself going to the nose, okay? Then next one, AXX, RC Infinity. Key news updates. Axie Infinity hits 1 million daily active players, first NFT project to hit 1 billion all time trade volume. Amazing. Then, NFT quarterly ranking stuff. Axie Infinity still expanding their traction level higher than NFT top shot. It's amazing work. Okay? Then, what about the technical analysis? AXS USDT. So, I'm going to seriously pay attention to the Bollinger Band. This line here is a middle price move of the Bollinger Band. Then gradually 
cannot chart price actions close to the middle line of this Bollinger Band. So whether you know, they can maintain the price is higher than the middle price line of the Bollinger Band will be the critical moment for them. If they can maintain higher these stats, we can confirm another bull run on ASS tokens. Okay? Then once we get pay attention to RSI, still the stats move is between the you know, price band here, as you can see. This means market is cooling down again. Okay? So if the price reacted in you know, a positive way here, you know, this stats also turn to the nose again. It's kind of a critical moment for the AXS, whether they can continue this bridge run or not. Okay? Then later market updates, B2C and B2B dumps. So, first one, all the data from DAPS.com, top 15, first category, game. This week, crypto blades on the Binance Smart Chain is a number of player at the momentum level. Second category, exchange. Uniswap seen a huge success on this market, but this week, one inch, doing quite well. The next one, top 15, finance. Alpha Finance, finally hit the normal position here, it's pretty good. Next category, social, this week, Gibbs is a number player, but once we look at the social momentum stats here, it's pretty low, which means this industry category is completely white space, okay? The next one, marketplace, top 15. Crypto banks this week overwhelming OpenSea here. The next top 15, utility. This week, Polygon POS Bleach taking a lead position here, okay? All right, so this is the last slide. How do I the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize return? Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook, and once we can look at the legendary angel investor instructions, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Reid Hoffman, all the time, they're gonna take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. And here's another evidence for the virus research. It's a Bitcoin case, but the longest holder of the Bitcoin maximize their investment return with plus 220%. Much bigger number here compared with other short term holders here. So, I'm gonna also basically take the long term investment approach. So, I'm gonna also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay? Alright, so that is all this time. So, I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So, I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video or any other video that I made. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about the crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of in this video in crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.